So many of you have probably read that uh, we have uh, found out in the last couple of weeks uh, that our organ requires uh, $50,000 worth of work. Now that sounds like a whole lot of money, and it is a lot of money, but understand this is a $750,000 organ, uh, so this is just kind of like a tune-up. But somehow we got to get to $50,000 one way or another, and so we've met uh, a couple times the Brain Trust has thought about, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get the congregation to understand uh, kind of what, uh, what this looks like and how we can uh, uh, move from uh, uh, what is a, uh, a piece that has uh, started to, to kind of fall apart after 40 or 50 or 60 years uh, and needs kind of an upgrade, uh, the leathering around each of the pipes. Uh, and so, the, uh, again, the Brain Trust has come up with a, a creative way to do this, what they're calling Adopt a Pipe. So we have uh, 1,500 pipes on our pipe organ when it's uh, back and installed. And so if you were to divide $50,000 by 1,500, that means every single pipe is $33. So do you think maybe you could find $33 in the next few weeks or the next few months even before the end of the year? If you would like to adopt a pipe, $33 might get you this one. Or this one. Uh, or even this one. $33 gets you adopting a pipe. And then, for some folks that maybe want to do a little bit more than that, they can adopt a wind chest. Do you know what a wind chest is? It's basically this, this wooden structure that all of these different pipes go in. And some of them are really little because they have little bitty pipes in them. And some of them are huge because they have the massive pipes in them. And so on average, and this is something I completely pulled out of the air, on average, there are 15 pipes in a wind chest, which I don't know if that's true or not, but there are several of them. And so in, instead of uh, just maybe one pipe, maybe you want to adopt uh, an entire wind chest and maybe, uh, maybe your contribution of $500 would sound something like this. Right? So you can adopt a pipe, you can adopt a wind chest, but for some of you who have the means and have the, the passion for this, you want to adopt a rank. Now some of you know what in an organ, uh, you heard at the beginning, uh, Evelyn played from different ranks, kind of different sound systems, and in the organ there are 61 pipes in a rank. And so for $2,000, if you would like to adopt an entire rank then perhaps your contribution could help us hear this. And then, some of you give $33 to adopt a pipe. Some of you give $500 to adopt a wind chest. Some of you give $2,000 to a, a, adopt a rank. And then all of our money gets put in together and all of us do our part, whatever that part looks like, and every little bit helps. And then, and then it sounds something like this. Remind, yes, yes, absolutely. A reminder of how everything that we do together matters and a reminder of how important it is to worship our God. If I hear the stories right, this church had an organ before KU had an organ. This has been a part of the way that we have worshiped for many years. It's not the only way to worship. We've heard the, the beautiful band, we've heard a, a piano, but it is a way that we have chosen to worship. If we are able to do this, we're able to uh, hopefully get these, uh, these leathers purchased, set for another 40, 50, 60 years, assuring we will continue to worship God in this way in the years ahead. Now, how are we going to remember? How are we going to see how far we've gone on this, uh, uh, this kind of a journey to $50,000? Well, I'm asking Mark to come out now and, uh, and show us what a, uh, a pipe looks like. So this is a, a, an organ pipe. Uh, you can see the little uh, uh, piece at the, the bottom that has the, the hole 
uh, you can see at the very bottom, that's where the, uh, the leather will go. And so this is going to be, if you can see on the side, uh, Sarah, oh, come over a little bit more. You're not on camera yet. There you go. You can see on the side uh, several different uh, amounts of money that have been raised, right? And so, so far, we're to here. You all have been generous to get us here, but we got to get to here. So we're going to put this pipe out in the narthex so that as we give, as we uh, continue to be generous, we'll see how close we're getting. The goal is to at least give them a, a heads up to know how much that we can either give or pledge by the end of the year. In the next couple of weeks, if you could let us know that, give a, uh, give a gift, give a check to the church, uh, offer a, a pledge to our bookkeeper, uh, put something on the, uh, uh, the, the Breeze app where you can uh, do the organ renovation drop down. However you choose to be generous, it's an opportunity and a reminder of how we worship God together. I wish you all could have seen the looks on your faces when the V-Door started playing. There was hope, there was passion, there was love. It's not, it's not that we worship the organ, it's that the organ helps us to worship God. That's our calling, and that's our hope. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, all of you who have already given, and all of you that choose now to give generously. For all of the ways that we continue to be church, and the challenges that we face, and the hope that we offer. Go in that hope.